DDR5? No. That's what it says. <sighs> this is the single biggest risk to Zen 4. Today's video was brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. If Zen 4 is truly DDR5 only. 360 bucks? Holy crap. G this skill. isn't Newegg's fault. This is just the market. So we got uh, G Skill Trident Z5 series, 32 gigs. So it's two 16 gig sticks. It's DDR5. It's 6,000. And it is 360 smackaroos. <laughs> you can buy 32 gigs of DDR4 for 100 bucks even. That is nearly four times the price. If this doesn't get cheaper before Zen 4 launches... Oh, uh, Zen 5? And 5. Zen 4. I mean... I know. It's so easy to... No, Zen 5. No, Zen 4 is going to be DDR5. Oh, Zen 5, I guess, is going to be DDR6, is it? No, I, it won't be out that soon. I don't think. That's what I'm saying, DDR. Never mind. Carry on. Zen 5 will be when it starts to get cheaper. Right, but Zen 4 is launching this year, and if no, DDR5 doesn't get cheaper, no, how's anybody supposed to buy it? I don't know. I don't know. This better get a lot cheaper. Well, that's going to be interesting because DDR5 is expensive, and if they don't get the core count right, they're going to have a double whammy. Ryzen 7 7800X, 8 core, 16 thread for 400 bucks with DDR5 only, with 32 gigs of RAM, costing same. almost as much as the CPU does. Yep. Versus Raptor Lake i7 13700K, 16 cores, 24 threads, DDR4 works. That thing, you know. Um, They're going to do DDR4, though, on Raptor Lake? It'll work on 600 series boards. That's true. So, ooh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, wow. Wow. That's nuts. Is there anything else that's in the Shell Shocker that's a good deal? Um, let's come back to the poll. Let me go ahead and end the poll and see what everybody says. All right, go end poll. I'm not. I'm not shocked by these results. Um, it makes sense. So the question is, which CPU in March of 2022 is the best deal? If you could only buy one of these, 68% said they buy the $400 i7 12700K 12 core 20 thread. And 31% said they buy the $580 i9 12900K. That makes sense. It's a reasonable split. I understand. I The, the 12900K is likely to age poorly because of the fact that Raptor Lake is coming so soon. I, I could get on board with that. And there's a lot of people to whom 12 cores really is plenty for a while. I mean, it's, I think 12 is much better than 8, but 16 is less necessary for, for, for most people. We have one more super chat. We have two. Oh, sorry. Uh, John Perez. Thank you, sir. He says he bought his dad a PC with a 5800X. He feels bad now. He wonders if he should have just got him a 5900X. Well, it depends on his use case, John. If he's not doing very much, if he's just doing some some documents and some photos, I mean, it depends what games he's playing, you know? It also depends on what the prices were at the time you bought. If I were buying one today, even for my mother, I would buy her a Ryzen 9 5900X. It'll last her forever. Well, not really, but I, it just... 
All the reasons I specified stand. Having said that, I recently did give my mother a new computer. I gave her a Ryzen 5 3600X. Why? Because it was sitting over there and I had it. And, you know, the computer that you already have sitting there and otherwise not being utilized is the best value of all. Mm -hmm. I would like to point out that my lovely mother does email. She does... What else does she do besides email? Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. She does... She likes her photos. She looks at her photos. Documents. Website browsing. Yeah. That's, and that's, she noticed a difference from the four cores that she had before to what we've given her. She's like, I can actually do multiple things. Two cores. She had two cores. Oh, that's right. She did have She two went cores. from two cores to six she cores. She can actually have multiple things open. She can do multiple things. She doesn't have to wait for her computer. But the point I want to make is she has 32 gigs of RAM. Yeah. So she can actually do Because that. I wouldn't give anybody 16 gigs of RAM, even for an office PC right now. And I know a lot of people are going to hear that and go, part of it is longevity. I want it to last three to five years without having to worry about RAM. Yeah, 16 gigs would probably work today. Not over time. And second, Chrome's not getting better. Um, let's see. John says his dad is playing Battlefield 2042, Call of Duty, 1440p, 144 hertz. That should totally be a Ryzen 9. Um, you should have spent the, the extra 150 bucks, John, and just gone the 5900X. Those it'll, games. It'll last him. Oh, those games right now, we'll use it. Yeah. Call of Duty and Battlefield 2042 right yeah. now will use the 12 if, cores. If he wants to play the AAA games, then yeah, just go 5900X. And make sure he's got at least 32 gigs of RAM, if not 64. The the 5800X 3D is pointless and dumb, and I'm never going to talk about it because it just it doesn't need to exist. <laughs> now, here's a fair comment. Uh, Dylan says, my i5 10400F is a cute little guy. That is actually a great CPU and has been an amazing value for a lot of people. Why? You like that? Because it's been $150 or less yeah. for a while now. And at a low enough price, it becomes very interesting. Because at $150 installed on a $75 motherboard using a $15 cooler, now you have kind of a sleeper budget machine that is such a low price point I can, I'm okay with it six cores. Yeah. Just like if a Ryzen 5 5600X was 150, my attitude towards it would change. Mm -hmm. There's no bad products, just bad prices. Um, AV said should have given her a 1600. Well, one, we didn't have a 1600, and that's Zen 1, right? I would never give somebody a 1600. And no. They're slow now. Exactly. So... What we've given her will last her a good amount of time, and we don't have to worry about it. If we had given her a sixteen hundred, there'd have to be an upgrade in there. And the latency in Windows between a sixteen hundred and a thirty six hundred X is noticeable. You don't need benchmarks to tell the difference. Uh, Albul, thank you. He says the transient load that the thirty series GPUs have is the culprit behind the PSU shutdowns. PSUs need all the capacitance. If they don't, they shut down. Blame NVIDIA. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> peaches is here. Hi, Peaches. Oh, Peaches. Hang on a second. No. But she's Peaches. I'm not food. You have to get me food. Why? Why do I have to get you food? You should get me food. We've been going for over two hours, so what do you want to do? We're coming up on nearly 8 o'clock. We should go get food. We should go get food. Do you know what you wish you, we should do? What? We should have Peaches do the outro. Oh, do you want to do the outro? The say goodbye? I'm doing the outro. <laughs> <laughs> Far away, my love. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. Um, like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you love it. And remember to subscribe using the big red that button was easy. there. Um, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions in the comment section below. And all the links are in the video description below. So. There are no links in the video description below. Well, there's other links. There's the there's, sponsor links. There's sponsor links. There's Discord affiliate links, links. There's affiliate links. So Use the you, links. If you want to support the channel. You are correct. I am very sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I will never do that again. 
What can I do to make it up to you? Steak dinner. Will you put? Will I please forgive you after steak dinner? Yeah, absolutely. Hit the button, my love. Hit the button. There are no bad products, only bad prices. Yeah, well, you know. If you know what the bad products are, don't buy them. Let's face it, my Pentium 75 is still perfectly usable today as it was back in 1995. For 1995 games, yes. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.